babies and welcome back again to my channel. If you've been following along with us on our V-Roy journey, you have finally made it to that final step where we finally get to put your awesome new model to use. In this video, we will be going over different programs that you can use for tracking, how to set up your model in OB OBS and VC face, and some ways that you can use this information moving forward. I will say that this video is not a full comprehensive tutorial for OBS or VC face. So I will not be going into every minute detail for these programs. I will literally just be going over how you can set up your model and utilize it, get you started on that. So you may have questions outside of that and I will try to answer them as best as I can, but I will let you know right now that this is not that video. This video is literally just to help you take your Vroid model that you've created and get you started on using it during streaming, recording, whatever, and getting basically ready to use it. There are many programs out there for tracking. Some of the programs that I've used before were VC Face, V Magic Mirror, and V Up. The one that I'm currently using is VC Face, and the one that I'm going to show you how to get started with is VC Face. I actually started using VC Face over V Magic Mirror and the other programs just because it was a little less demanding on my computer. I noticed that when I was using some of the other ones um, while I was streaming, there was just too much, it was just too much for my computer to handle and I was crashing a lot. And once I switched over to VC Face, I stopped having those problems. The tracking was a little smoother. I did lose um, some features, but for me, the trade off was worth it. So I'm going to be going over how you can set it up in VC Face. Some other applications for your model besides streaming will be like recording videos like this for YouTube. You can also use your model in things like Discord or TikTok, anything that needs like a virtual, uses a virtual camera, VC Face has a setting for that. And if you tweak your model and go a little further, you can even use these models for VR chat and other things. You can also use it to create content. I see so many people using their models to do reels and TikToks and um, recording over sound bites. So that is definitely something else that you could look into. So what you will need in order to get started with streaming is a streaming software, something like OBS, um, Stream Elements, Stream Labs, something that's going, whatever is best for you, something that is just going to allow you to stream onto your intended platform, be it TikTok, YouTube, Twitch. Um, whatever, you would go ahead and need a streaming software. I use OBS, so in this video, I will be showing you how to set up your model in OBS. You will also need a tracking software, so something that is going to track your, your voice or your movements in order to relay that to your model. You do not need a webcam. If you would like for it to be a little more realistic, you can, but there is a lot of automated blinking features, movement features that um, a lot of tracking programs have that you will not need a, a webcam, but it depends on what's best for you and how dynamic you would like your model to be. In this tutorial, I am going to show you again using like either just the basic uh, webcam. Um, your model will not come through with the same kind of face tracking that my model has currently. I did tweak my model and I will come back and show you guys how to do that in a later video, but I do wanna make it very clear that straight out of the program, your model is not going to track the same way that mine is, but I will show you what you are capable of doing inside of that program. First, to get started, I'm gonna show you where you can download the programs that you will need, and then we'll go ahead and open each one, and I will show you what to do from there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first program that you're going to need to download is VC Face. I will link the website below so that you can go ahead and go directly to the download. But once you're here, you're gonna go to the download tab. It does have a bunch of information. So if you're curious about all of the other features and everything that you can do, I will see they do have a very good list of um, features on the side that you can kind of go through and look at. Um, but just basically, you will need to go to the download tab, download this version, Version and it is a free program so you should not have to pay anything and we're just gonna go with the most recent download so once you download it you can go to your downloads open up your folder here are my downloads so I'm going to go ahead and unzip this extract all it's gonna ask you where you want it, want it to go I'm just gonna extract it directly in here 
Once it's extracted, it's basically unzipping this folder. Once it's done, I'm gonna open it and I have it's right here. I'm gonna open VC face and I'm going to open up this application. Once it opens, it's going to look like this. This is what you're going to see when it, when it first opens. You're gonna have some options on the side. I already have my models loaded in, so it's already giving me those options. But in order to get yours in here, you're gonna click on the plus avatar button and you're going to find your model in your character, your directory, and then you're going to click and press open but I'm just going to select one of my models that I have. And you'll notice that you have some options over here. It's gonna ask you what camera you want to use. I'm going to use um, my webcam. And then it's going to ask what your default settings and stuff are. Um, I'm just going to do 1920 by 1080. Um, it's going to ask you your frame rate, your preferred frame rate. You can pick whatever you want. I'm going to do my microphone as the microphone that I have I'm using now. And we're going to go ahead and press start. So this is what it looks like once your model loads in. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this other uh, VC face that I have just in case the camera is pulling from here. And I can show you how to set that up in here. So just give me one second. So once your model loads in, you'll see this is how, what it looks like. I am using my webcam and it is auto blinking. The eyes are tracking with the movement of my head, not following my actual eye movement, and my lips are synced with the mic. So the program is picking up what I'm seeing and moving the lips of my model. You're able to still get some dynamics, get some movement going with out having like complete facial tracking this is what you'll get um you can also play around you have some settings um in your general settings you'll want to look at these and kind of take a gander at like the uh, parameters that you have for your model including like eyebrow sensitivity um gaze sensitivity stuff like that i turned on auto blink just so that it'll blink automatically they have so many, so many different uh, options that you, you can do in order to make your model yours. Again, this is not a VC face tutorial. I really just wanted to get you in there, get your mic set up, get your camera set up. You can play around with these. I will say that this face tracking is applies for like, if you do have like a uh, face tracking software, um, such as like the um, eye facial mocap, um, that's usually what I use. You do have to tweak your model for that. Another thing I will say is that you have expression settings you have your neutral and then you can basically make hotkeys for these so that when you toggle them they do like the different face expressions um, this is how you'll get some more face expressions and you can toggle them and customize the ones that you want to show up with buttons and stuff um, there's a lot that you can do with that you have props um, and again, if you need help, they have a bunch of different things, that, uh, a bunch of information here and on their website that you can take a look at. All right, once you have your VC face set up and once you have your model in VC face, you're gonna go ahead and want to download your streaming software. Like I said, I use OBS Studios. This is the one that has given me the least amount of problems. That's saying a lot. <laughs> this is the one that's given me the least amount of problems, the one that's I find easiest to work through. Um, so you're gonna go pick the system you have. I have Windows. Once you go here, you're gonna download the most recent one. You're gonna say where you want it to download to. I'm going to save it to my download section because I'm going to delete it. Um, I'm going to save it here. Once it downloads, you'll have your download, you'll open it and it will bring you to your OBS dashboard. So it'll look something like this. I already have it set up to Twitch, which is how I got here. I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. What you will do is you'll go to file, you'll go to settings, you're going to go to stream and you're going to click Twitch um, as the service. It's going to ask you to connect your account. Once you click connect your account, you're gonna put your information in and it should automatically go ahead and set you up to where when you press start streaming, it's going to send you your stream to Twitch. Once that's done, we can go ahead and start building scenes. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a scene. I have a, a, a new scene. In order to create a scene, you're gonna press this plus sign it's gonna ask you what you wanna name it, you name it, and it'll, it's gonna save here. In your sources, so we have to basically tell OBS what we want to show up here, what we want sourced. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to add is an audio source. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that so you don't have to learn the hard way like me who recorded this entire section. 
without having an audio source and realizing that once I went to edit. <laughs> so we're gonna add an audio source and the way we're gonna do that, I already have one, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna press this little plus button right here. We are going to go to audio input capture. You're going to name it and then you're going to find whatever audio input that you have you are using mine is wave league stream i would have clicked that i'm going to press ok and then it's going to appear down here once you have your audio input source it'll appear right here you'll be able to see the the volumes and adjust uh levels all in the audio mixer um but now it's there you're you should be heard and we can move on so the next thing we're going to do is add our model to our scene so we're going to go ahead and press this plus button we are going to go to game capture. So this is important. VC face also does have an, uh, a tutorial on how to add your stuff to OBS, but you're going to want to press game capture because VC face uses transparency. And this is going to allow you to, um, import that information into OBS so that your scene is transparent. Your source is transparent. So we're going to click game capture. We're going to name it. I'm going to name it VC face. Um, you can name it whatever you want, your V2 model, um, or tracking program, whatever. And we're going to press OK. I highly recommend you name your stuff so that you know where everything is. You can find it later without having to click on everything. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to capture specific window. And then we're going to pick our window. It is going to be VC face. And then we're going to press allow allow transparency okay and once you have it you will see that it is up here we can now go ahead and um and i will go ahead and back and show you um we click on our source it is this window i pressed allow transparency which is going to take away that background that you see um and we're going to press okay and that has brought us to our window we are now sourced in our scene and you can go ahead and see your model in order to scale your window and that in order to scale your source, you can use the points on the edge and go ahead, click and drag to make it bigger, smaller, whatever, whatever you need um, in order to change it. So you see as this just basically scales it uniformly. Um, but what if I want to make this window thinner so I can cut this out, um, even though I will show you how to take away this regardless without that. But let's just say you wanted to make the window smaller. You're going to press you're going to hold hold alt and click and drag and that will change the size of your windows using the points on the edges um so you have that option as well but just in case you don't want to do that you can also click this little button that's right here in vc face and it will take away your ui just like that so now we're going to go ahead and add our background so what we're going to do is we're going to add an image source you're going to press image going to bring up a window you're going to name it this is going to be my background so I'm going to put BG press OK and we're going to find our image file in our directory add it and we're going to press OK and now it is in my background so what I'm going to do is go ahead and scale it but oops it's covering my model I don't want it to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click our source and I'm going to drag it underneath where the the source that I want it to be under and that's how you kind of order them. So now I have my background, I have my model. In order to add things like your um, overlays, like let's say you need to add a link, a browser link, you would press um, the plus, you're going to go to browser, and that is where you would add your links, and press okay. And then you're going to add your URLs here. That'll give you things like your chat, your alert box, your things for like Twitch in order to build your scene. Um, and then once you have stuff like that, you can toggle visibility using the eyes um, for what you need. And yeah, so that will give you um, visibility. Once you're ready and you're all set, you will go ahead and be able to step, press start streaming. And that should upload this information. Um, it should share this information to whatever platform you will be streaming to. And just to give you a visual example, this is my setup on Twitch. As you can see, I have my chat box, I have my overlays, I have my models. So there's a bunch of different things you can do, make many different scenes. Um, they don't all have to look like this. This is my scene for when I'm just chatting with my audience and my friends on Twitch. And this is what it looks like when I'm playing a game, when I'm actually in the scene playing a game. Um, there's so much freedom. You have so many cool things that you can do with your setup and how your model looks on stream. So I encourage you to go ahead and play around with some of the things that you can do. 
Thank you so much for watching and I really hope this helps you get started on your VTubing adventures with your new Vroid model. If you did find this helpful, please subscribe so that you get notifications for new videos and any th updates that we have. The next video I will be working on is it's going to get us get us started with working in Unity. So the first video I will be showing you is how to import your model into Unity and then we will be talking about adding more blend shapes to your model so that you can have more expression kind of like my model here with Lexi. Thank you so much for being patient for this video. I do realize that it has been a, a minute since the last video that we put out. I was struggling with some mental things, mental and physical health issues, um, but I am better now and hopefully I can continue to give um, you guys content and answer your questions. Um, but I do appreciate your patience while we do that and you guys and your support is much appreciated. Please feel free to leave any questions in the comment section and I will answer them as I go on. You guys have been so sweet and letting me know that these have been helpful to you and I'm so happy that they are. Hopefully I will continue to be helpful to you on this journey and until next time babies I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Remember that you are loved and you are valued and you are worthy and I hope to see you next time. Bye babies!